All right. All right. So um, we're at the uh, Sun and Honey machine, and what we're doing is we're going to hone this to a particular size bore, and this dial gauge is set up. And zero is our on the dial gauge is our what we want is our final measurement. Um, we're going to torque plate hone this block. Now, the idea of torque plate hoding is to simulate uh, the head being on the block. Um, with aluminium blocks, when you torque something down, it pulls the metal in in different areas, up and down the bores. So the idea is, is once we bolt the torque plate up, uh, we hone it, finish it off, take it all apart once it's done. The bores will probably measure out of shape once the torque plates are off. Um, but once the head goes back on when it's bolted up finally to go together, it will pull the bores back in straight as it did, as it was straight when the uh, torque plates were on when it was in the home machine. So we're just going to show everyone. We've uh, roughed these bores out. Um, so we're just going to show a quick measurement of what it's like now to what it's like when you bolt the torque plates on just to see what difference it actually makes. So a lot of people are skeptical of this, so we'll, let's, let's see what we have. So at the moment that zero size there is what we, where we want to end up at the end. So you can see those, this is in uh, two thou increments, so that line there, or half a thou increments, so that line there is two thou where it's sitting right now. And if we go right down the bottom, we're right on two thou, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to bolt everything on. And let's just see if it makes a difference from top to bottom and throughout the middle. Alright, so we bolted the torque plate up. We've torqued it down to what it's going to be once the head's on there. We're just going to see what the difference is now. Okay, so it was two for our top, middle and bottom before. Now we've got Two thou right at the top. Two thou, then it actually drops down in the middle of the board. Drops down to just over, just under half, just under one thou. One and a half, and then right down the bottom at two. So that all that tells us that basically where the where the thread in the block is for the studs, um, which is locates about uh, a quarter to halfway down the bore, um, is exactly where it's pulling in. And it's actually making the bore bigger. It's pulling the material out towards the hole. So, so everyone can see that now, that's the purpose of torque plate honing, is if we didn't do it with a torque plate, um, when we talked it all up to put the engine together, you ha have a bore that's um, a thou bigger in the middle than it's supposed to be. So, there you go. So we'll hone that to suit, and then we'll be right. Alright, so we're at the finish honing stage of the bores here. Um, we've got different stones for different finish stones uh, for different rings and different applications so uh, today we're going to use this stone and then finish off with a fine stone that we use for uh, these plasma molly rings that are getting used in this application um, and then what we do is finish off with a what's called a plateau, a plateau pad um, which is a brush it's not actually a stone so at the very end, when it's uh, down to its finished size, um, we'll run that up and down it a few times, which basically takes the pitch off the honing pattern. If you micro microfied it, um, you'd be able to see uh, little birds and that on each line of the hone, honing pattern. So this is what this plateau, plateau uh, pad does. It basically just brushes that and smooths out the pitches of each honing pattern. And then uh, also, remove some of the material, the dirt, out of the pores of the, material, of the metal. Uh, so that's the final stage. Um, so we'll put this in now. We've got the 2000 machine out. As you can 
we saw when we measured it up and the top plates were bolted on. So we keep checking it up, we measure where it's at, all the way from top to bottom. It should be gradually coming down. It's at a, just under a cow and a half now. We bring it down to about a thou before we put our pines um, so that's it about right now. So we'll do that to all bores. Um, because we only have been given one torque plate for this one, we've got a head torque down on the other side and the mains are also torqued. Uh, so everything's torqued up and pulling in as it would when it's running on a motor. Um, we'll finish this side off and then put the fine stones in and then get it down to zero um, before we plate our We'll uh, swap the head and the top plate over and do the opposite side. So we'll uh, finish off and we'll see you at the next stage. Alright, so we're just going to finish off with the plateau pads now. Um, just to clean out those pores and uh, take those edges off that main pad. that we need. It's got about a 25 to 30 degree painting angle, cross hatch, uh, which is what's needed for these rings to get the maximum performance and sealing out of them. And now this one's ready to go.